Bakar's Rouge 540 is popular. Sue her. I will ridicule you. I will wash up. Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Bella and this is Bella's Perfume Diaries. If this is your first time of stumbling on this channel, Perfume Diaries is a series where we talk about perfumes, a sprinkle of beauty and lifestyle. So if this is the kind of content you like, click that subscribe button and join the family. And if you're a returning subscriber, welcome back. Thank you for tuning in once again. On this episode, I'm going to be doing overrated perfumes according to my Instagram followers. I did um, a question tag asking people to let me know their overrated perfumes like what is that perfume that people hype the shit out of and then when you carry it you're like what is this and i'm going to be reacting to this overrated perfume i haven't looked at their responses i just glanced through them but i know deep down inside me i know that there's somebody that will look for my trouble and put my favorite perfume as overrated but let's just be watching i'm going to be listing out a few of the responses that i got and then i'm going to drop my three most overrated perfumes at the end of this video so without wasting much time let's jump right into the video the first person i'm going to start with is lolly berry she said good girl by carolina herrera what do you say People need to understand that there's a difference between when a fragrance is overrated and when a fragrance becomes common. Overrated means we say this fragrance smells good and when you smell it, it doesn't smell good. Deep down inside you, when you smelled good girl, did it smell good or be it did not smell good? I will ridicule you. I wash up. Good girl is unique. I think that's what makes good girl good girl. It is sexy, it is unique and it is amazing. Good girl is not overrated. But let me know in the comments if you agree with her. Moving on to the next one. Still Lolly Berry said, um, Musuf Ramada. I don't know which one is Musuf Ramada, but I have smelled Musuf, like the brown Musuf before. Somebody gifted me that perfume and I'm not an oud person. But Musuf is not like that skanky, animalic oud. It's more like a sexy oud fragrance and I, I really don't mind that fragrance. I've heard about the pink Musuf. Let me know if you have tried that perfume because I've seen hype everywhere and I really want to try that pink Musuf. I really wish it to come in mini size. I don't know about this one. Maybe I'm going to research and Put a picture if I find anyone of this Musuf Ramadan. So Chuk said Rihanna Rebel Fleur is underrated. Just white florals, no coconut or tropical vibes. Really? Yeah. This fragrance is on my wish list. I've heard so much about it and I want to get it in my collection. So now that you're saying this regard is overrated, I'm thinking about it twice, so... Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Don't cry, don't cry. But I've tried the Rihanna Rebel, and oh my god, that fragrance is bomb. I haven't tried this Rihanna Rebel Fleur. I'm not really a fan of just white floral fragrances. I mean, mix it up with coconut. I heard that this fragrance actually has coconut, like sweet coconut in it, because the red one actually has coconut in it, even though it's not listed in the notes. The scent bubble is just sweet coconut. If you have tried Rihanna Rebel Fleur, Fleur please let me know in the comment section. Is it overrated? I just want to know. If I get a lot of people say that Rebel Fleur is not worth it, then I'll just, you know, forget about so, it. So, um, King George the First said, Cedra Boas Mancera. I've heard a lot about that fragrance. Um, I think they said it smells like Creed Aventus. I can't remember. If you have tried this fragrance, let me know in the comments what you think. Is it overrated or not? And then he said, um, the second one is La Nuit Del Home YSL. If you have tried this fragrance, let me know in the comments if it is overrated. But I have tried Le Parfum and that fragrance is sexy. It's amazing. Nero Eve said, <laughs> I just know she's going to come for my Baccarat Rouge. She said, Baccarat Rouge is literally everywhere. And so what? And so fucking what? Okay, okay. Baccarat Rouge is a common fragrance. And it is common because it is an amazing scent. Suha. If something is good, of course, everybody will want to have a piece of it. That doesn't mean it's overrated. Baccarat Rouge 540 is popular. Suha. Sue her. All of you that have been hating on Bakara Street 540, sue her because she's popular. I will, I will ridicule you. I will wash up. Just like I said, did you smell Bakara Street 540? 
Does it smell amazing or it doesn't smell amazing? Choose one. If it smells amazing, then it is not overrated. Please, if we should stop it, stop this thing that you are doing. A fragrance is overrated if it doesn't smell nice, not when it is popular. Give me stitches, said Libre YSL. Say that eyes, they pay me and they me this. Let me know in the comment section whether you typed this thing by mistake because I don't want to believe that this is YSL Libre I'm seeing here that you are saying is overrated. Eh? What did you say? Give me stitches meant to put it in underrated. I think that's what she was trying to do. She made a mistake. This is a mistake. Scratch that. That was a mistake. Moving on to the next one. I said wood. Wood is overrated. I think wood is just subjective. It's not like it's overrated. It is a love or a hate fragrance notes. Like most people like wood in their fragrances. I'm not like an wood person, but sometimes I like to mix a little bit of wood in my fragrance. I don't know if you get me. So I don't like fragrances that have like wood from beginning to the end. At least mix up, you know, mix up with other things. Keep quiet, yeah. What's wrong with you? To me, wood actually makes you smell expensive. I can't stand it. I can't stand wood. If somebody sprays wood beside me, I feel like throwing up. Especially those very conk wood fragrances that ah, uh, they're just too much for me. Moving on to the next one. Beloved by Tina said Elisab. Which Elisab, my darling? Because I'm trying to think of an Elisab I don't like. Elisab Le Parfum, Elisab Girl of Now. Those are amazing scents. So which Elisab exactly? I'm trying to think of one Elisab I don't like. So I don't think Elisab is overrated. I don't know. You can specify which Elisab exactly. So she said Victoria's Secret perfumes. <laughs> Thing. I have not used any Victoria's Secret perfumes. I have most of their body mists. I think the recent ones they started releasing are bomb ass. I've heard so many bad things about Victoria's Secret perfumes, and I'm just like, this is a lot of red flag. I cannot ignore this one. But I would really love to try a Victoria's Secret perfume because I have coconut hair. I still want to try it. I'm not a hair word. I'm not a hair word. I get coconut head, I get big ear, but I'm not a hair word. If you have tried any Victoria's Secret perfume, let me know in the comments what you think. Are they overrated or they are underrated? Defend your fave. Defend your fave in the comment section because... I don't want peace. What problem? Always. Jackie said Baccarat should for Can't you get? If I can't you get? You people have come. Another person is mentioning but See, I had a feeling that I was going to get a lot of Baccarat Rouge 540 in this question tag. Because why? Why do you guys hate Baccarat Rouge 540? What kind of goodness is that? You are very good. Very, very good. The next person, um, Adeze said Joy by Dior. Is Joy by Dior overrated? I don't think Joy by Dior is even popular like that. To me, Joy by Dior is not like outstanding and I don't think it is popular or hyped for it to be overrated. <laughs> Preloved by Tina said Angel Share is overrated. Yeah! What type of plane is this? I this is plain. Are you playing? You have shattered my heart to pieces. Someday you'll say the word and I will cry. See, I'm ending this video here. Everybody should go home. Everybody just go home. Why would anybody smell angel share and say it is overrated? Baby girl, I think you bought the fake one because there is no explanation for this. Or maybe you were, you were supposed to put it in underrated. Okay. She was supposed to put it in underrated fragrances. So she made a mistake and put because I don't want to believe that angel share is in this list. It cannot be the mistake. You guys don't worry, it's a mistake. It wasn't supposed to be here. The next person. Balea said Coco Mademoiselle. Hey, hey, no, no. Coco Mademoiselle is a classic scent. The girls that get it, get it. And the girls that don't, don't. It's as simple as that. You get it? Okay. If you don't get it, forget about it. Coco Mademoiselle is not worried, said my love. Mm, I don't think so. It's not. Eh? Another person said YSL Libre. Mistosi. No. What is going on? I'm guessing you bought the fake. The first time I smelled YSL Libre, I wasn't a fan of it because it had this citrus notes i don't know whether it's fake i bought though or my nose was not working well 
but it had this very sharp citrus in it that I did not like. I talked about it on the video where I compared Libre and Libre Intense, but I revisited it and I was like, I need to get this back in my collection. Guys, this is not up to a month since I got this fragrance and see how much I've used up already. To show you how much I just love this fragrance, you cannot tell me that this fragrance is overrated. So these are the few I'm going to be mentioning, the um, overrated fragrances by my Instagram followers. If you are not following me on Instagram, please follow me on Instagram because I do question tags from time to time and I post recommendations and all that. I recently had like an Instagram account that was taken down by Instagram I have no idea why it was taken down but my new Instagram page uh, Bella's Perfume Diaries I just opened it and I've just been very reluctant to post content because the last one that was taken down I literally put a lot of energy in the content I created and it was just so disappointing um, that, the, that the page was taken down but I've opened a new one I'm going to post content definitely on them and you guys should just follow me amazing deals are going to be coming on my instagram page also declutters if i want to declutter most of my fragrances i'll be decluttering them on my instagram page if i'm going to be decanting my fragrances i'm going to be decanting on my instagram page so follow me at bella's perfume there so now i'm going to be telling you my top three overrated perfumes the fans of these perfumes People should just not swallow me. Just relax, relax. My first overrated perfume, guys, is Black Orchid. I think the beauty of Black Orchid is in the dry down, and I'm not patient. I'm not patient enough to wait. Black Orchid is too intense for me, and I feel that, to me, it is overrated. The next one is Olympia Intense. I have used the OG Olympia, and I absolutely love that fragrance. Like, I used it and drained the bottle. I even got a backup bottle that somebody stole from me. It's like a very sexy, sultry fragrance. Amazing. But then, the Intense. What is going on in the Intense? I feel that they did too much with that Intense. It didn't give me that, you know, soft girl life that I'm used to. It just gave me Agbero. Not an Agbero. <laughs> So I'm not a fan of this fragrance, it's just too much for me. I feel that it's overrated. The last one, this, this one, people are going to come for me. People should come and fight me. People are going to come and fight me and I'm ready. I'm ready for it. I'm ready to run into the lab because I have a black man blood in me. And African people, we are born great. I'm ready for it. The last one is Decadence. Ah, you know how many times I've tried that fragrance? I have tried to love that fragrance three times. I bought it the first time. I was like, Kai. I know fit. <laughs> I decluttered it. I now got decadence who divine. I be divine something something. I was like, okay, since I can't I can't love the OG decadence, let me buy a flanker. I got that one. That one was even worse. It smells like fresh grass. <coughs> and I got decadence again. This time around. But this time around, <laughs> bunch of rubbish. <laughs> bunch of rubbish. This time around was bunch of women, bunch of women, bunch of women surrounded in my room, surrounded in my room when I came. Jesus, I shouted, Jesus, what a life. I said, okay, I cannot bear this again. Let me go. Marriage is not do and die. I could not breathe. See, I'm not, I'm not exaggerating. I was struggling to breathe because, okay, maybe I oversprayed. Maybe that's the reason. But even go, even go. The fragrance was just too much on me. Like the green notes was just too much for me. Like it was, it's not too screechy for me. I just couldn't. So I just had to declutter it, and I'm like, okay, maybe decadence is just not for me. But I feel that decadence might be nice if you mix it with something that you love. If you are the kind of person that hates decadence and you pair it up with something that you love, you might love it. So maybe I'm going to try it again because I have coconut head. Maybe this time I'm going to get a very small size. But to me, I feel that that fragrance is overrated. It smells like green grass. I'm not really a fan of that fragrance. I don't know. If these are your faves, I'm sorry. I'm not really a fan of them. So guys, um, these are the overrated fragrances from my Instagram followers and the few that I have tried. 
if you have fragrances that are overrated let me know in the comment section i'd love to connect with you in the comment section and please don't take any offense in like any of the fragrances if they were your faves just know that these are people's opinions not yours if you, if you love them then why not it's, it's about making you happy don't think about people's opinions just do you do what makes you happy don't forget to like this video don't be angry with me and not like my video throw me some kisses in the comments don't forget to subscribe if you haven't subscribed and share with your friends as well thank you guys for tuning into bella's perfume diaries i'll be seeing you on my next episode bye